Shalom. All praises unto Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rachakodash. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, whom you ignorantly call God, and Yahweh Shai being uh, the name of the only begotten Son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the house of David, the elect. Unto you all, I say greetings and shalom. All right, so I'll, this video is not going to be too long because, see, talking. Dealing with these women is uh, a fucking headache on its own. All right. So I don't even plan on doing this, but I had to do something on it, man. This this shit is just ridiculous. All right. So the, the two the two clips that I had. Uh, so suppose, supposedly uh, I'm assuming World Star doesn't let you uh, screen record. And so I tried to screen record a couple times and it would stop after like seven or 10 seconds. So I couldn't get the full clip, but it's like a two minute, 20 second clip of these women. And it's a gang of these women. If you pay attention to this, I'm a, I'm a Lord willing, I can put the link in the description box. If you look at how look at this street and all of these women, it's like a fucking parade of women, you know, that are running naked. And I'm not sure where this is the location of this. At. I'm, I'm assuming it's probably like um in Asia, these look like a lot of Moabites uh, or Ammonites, so-called Chinese or Japanese, from what I can tell, you know, from a distance. I could be wrong, but, uh, you know, I saw some Edomites sprinkled in there. I saw like one Jake from what looks like a typical Jake, you know, but the point being, these women, this is why we need deliverance. This is why we need salvation, because these women are foolish, man. They think that because they have... um uh, free rights and liberties that they can just do whatever the hell they want. And see, this is a problem. This is a problem according to the Bible. All right. Women, they think by the, the, the fucking, the woman's mindset is, is off, man. Okay. You, you, you are running through these streets, butt ass naked, trying to emphasize your sexual or physical expression. Okay. By doing what? Making yourselves naked, showing your 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 secret parts. Okay, the, 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 those things belong to your husband. And then if you watch at the end of the clip, uh, Edomite comes and run up and record them, and they all start cheering. Okay, they started cheering. Man, these are all harlots, man. We're living in a nation full of a world full of harlots, and that's because of the wine of America. Giving these women think that they have the right to do whatever they want. And, and they can say whatever they want and they can act however they want. This is disgraceful to a man. You know, any man who knew his wife was out there and you don't have a problem with that, you're a fucking idiot, man. OK, I'm, I, I got to get some scriptures on these damn women, too, man. You know, because that shit. Oh, boy, could have been a fucking uh, uh, pervert. You know, he could have been record. He was recording y'all. He could go home and be masturbating on y'all. He could sell that shit. You know, if one of y'all would have got uh, uh, grabbed up and taken to an alley and raped or some shit. Oh, well, you know, the guy is wrong because we can be naked and not expect him to get horny. You you women's philosophy, you think that this is bringing you closer to what you're trying to achieve. But now you're just looking like idiots. You like like one of the brothers sent this in the chat. Now you look like you're just children. You're like little children who can't get your way. And so you misbehave. All right. This is Job 39 and 17. Because the Most High had deprived her of wisdom, neither had he imparted her to her understanding. You women, that you ain't even got rag, uh, rad, um, rational logic and knowledge, wisdom, and understanding in the world. You think that this was a good idea because you got fucking, uh, what's that broad's name? Uh, whatever her fucking name is. Uh, Wiz Khalifa's woman. Uh, Amber Rouse or whatever fuck her name is. You know, she she out talking about a, a slut walk and all of this kind of shit. And now women across the world are thinking that this is giving them feminism and liberty and free rights. And see, I was looking on the comments of this video and brother, people were saying some real shit. Hey, if this what this is how you know it ain't about equality. And this is how you know women truly, because uh ooh, let me get Jeremiah 31 and 22. Right now, man, you know, uh they say it's a man's world, but these women are able to do whatever the hell they want to do, man. This is Jeremiah um, 31 and 22. How long wilt thou go about, O, o thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. All right, that backsliding daughter was talking about the nation of Israel, the so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics. 
All right. He said, but he created a new thing in the world. Well, women shall compass a men. Women are able to do things that men are not able to do. OK. And so they they able to, um, you know, they, they able to get better jobs, get more money, run around like harlots in the fucking street, man. Of this were all men doing something like this. We'll be labeled as pedophiles, perverts, uh, miscreants. All right. Uh, uh, sex offenders. OK. Of, of, of I guarantee they ran by a school or a church or a playground and little kids were seeing this. And this is supposed to be OK. This is what you do once you get your power. This is why the men of Israel have to be raised up to show the world how it is done properly, because the woman is completely out of order in this society, man. All right. And I'm going to get some a New Testament verse for all you damn women out here who think that this is OK. All right. The Lord, the Lord is, is, is upset at that behavior, man. And any man that doesn't, uh, that thinks that's okay. Hey, you, your, your, your mind is off too. Okay. Uh, first Timothy two. Uh, yeah. First Timothy. So like I was looking at second. First Timothy, uh, two and nine. It says in like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. All right. You're supposed to be wearing when you wearing clothes, y'all go ahead. Y'all rather be naked. You want to let your titties hang out. You want to let your ass cheeks show. You want to let your pussy show. You want to wear see through clothing. A woman, a real woman. All right. Is supposed to adorn herself in modest apparel. So you wear a dress. All right. According to Deuteronomy 22 and five, you wear a dress. You wear a man can't see uh, the curves of your body. OK, but no, nah, y'all, y'all, y'all waxing worse and worse where you just want to be hoes and harlots out here. OK. It says, uh, with shamefastness and sobriety, not with broided hair or gold or pearls or costly array. All right. So y'all here, y'all want to look like y'all got it all. Like Isaiah, the third chapter speaks about y'all want to wear all the fancies clothes, the fancies garments, you know, and now even to the point where y'all just going out butt naked, you know, but if a dude was out there fucking salivating, taking pictures of all y'all titties and ass, oh, then he's wrong, but you're putting it on public display. You're not on public property. And that's why they're acting like that, because they're fucking childish, man. And they think by showing their bodies, they're going to get more independence for themselves. This is not going to change the behavior of the man, but it's because it's because right now you have your liberty. Wait until these wait until martial law breaks loose. Y'all bitches going to be trying to throw a fucking blanket over you, man. You're going to be trying to wrap yourself in a blanket to try to keep men from seeing your body parts. OK. But see, right now is everything seems cool. Everything is cool. No big deal, right? Okay. Uh, let me get um Isaiah thirty two. Fucking women, man. Hoes, hoes. That's it, man. We live in a society that promotes hoes, harlots, prostitute and promiscuous women. Okay, because uh, the time of hold'em is 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 at its peak. You got people getting popular on Instagram because they hoes. Instagram models showing your ass and titties. That belong to your husband, man. That's what be shown at home. This is Isaiah 32 and nine. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice. Ye careless daughters, give ear unto my speech. And see, you know, ultimately, this is um, for the children of Israel, because, you know, some of those might have been Israelites out there, but predominantly it didn't look like Israel. You know, but nonetheless, Israel be uh going fucking off too because Israel walk around being hoes, popping their pussies. A brother showed me a video today of a um a, a stripper popping her pussy and shit, snapped her fuck. Uh, another woman tried to jump on top of her, snapped her fucking neck, and she died. The Lord is going to judge you, women, man. He's going to judge you for your harlotry. He's going to judge you for being uh not not following after your man. Okay, a man of the Lord. Okay. It says, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Y'all at ease, man. This is at ease. You run around the streets naked. And this is really talking about the other nations right now. That's foolishness, man. That's foolishness. It's childish. It's immature. It does not make you a stronger woman from being able to show your titties and ass everywhere, man. Because if a gang of men came around and grabbed y'all asses up, then, oh, then, th then they wrong. You know? But that's because it's, it's a free world right now. When it's no more laws, 
Let you be running in the streets naked and see what a man do to your ass. And we don't promote this. We're not saying we're going to be doing that. But the Lord said he's going to rouse up the, the, the anger in these people and the fury in these people. And they're not going to hold back on you women. Uh, you, you showed yourself naked and you walked out of the fucking house like that. Your, your creepy ass neighbor who watch you every day. He see what you participate in. As soon as lawlessness breaks, he coming right to your house, man. It says, hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. They don't listen. That's careless to be out there running in the streets like that, man. Many days and years shall ye be troubled. Ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Y'all going to tremble, man, in these times to come. You're going to tremble for not listening because y'all at ease. Y'all comfortable right now. Women is always about living in pleasure. Always want to be comfortable. All right. Woman don't want nothing. She can build up. Everything got to be laid out. If you go to a woman's house, her should be plush, laid out. You know, and going broke, check to check, can't afford shit because she'd rather have a comfortable home. Instead of uh, having somebody to help her build something that took more time, but uh, less money. You know, and I, of course, I'm speaking to 99 percent of women. Yeah, it's, it's that one percent out there of women who, who follow after they man. Who listen and hearken, you know? So, hey, if, it, if a shoe fits, wear it. But if it don't apply, let it fly, man. All right? But y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. 99% of y'all women are fucking harlots, man. Okay? It says, uh, be ye troubled, ye careless ones. Strip ye and make ye bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. Okay? Hey, so you you, you women, ain't y'all ain't girding sackcloth on, man. Y'all not mourning. Fucking happy out here. And y'all sad whenever. Only time y'all sad is when shit don't go y'all way. Everything got to go y'all way, right? Let me get Amos, man, because this, this is fucking ridiculous, man. This is sad. We shouldn't even have to do lessons on this, man. But this is a curse sent upon our women, all right? This is, uh, and like I said, this ain't about Jake necessarily because them look like Ammonite and, and Moabite women in the thing. But nonetheless, our women, the reason why the other nations are doing this is because of Babylon. That slut, slut walk, shame walk, whatever the fuck she want to call it. You know, that's that's influencing the other nations. And that's a Jake do that. When you have Jake that does something, the other nations will put it on, take it to another level because we influence the world. The Lord said we are the salt of the earth, man. OK. This is Amos 7 and 17. It says, therefore, thus saith the Lord, thy wife shall be a harlot in the city. You see that? Our wives would be acting like hoes. I hear you got a good man at home and you want to go out and fuck other dudes. You want to go out and be a hoe. You want to run through the streets naked. You want to wear promiscuous, promiscuous clothing. That's all cool and dandy until there are no more laws. All that fucking gold and red and blue and green hair. All that makeup. All your beauty. That's going to fail, man. All right. And, and the more beautiful and in the time of lawlessness, the more beautiful ones are going to be the ones with bigger problems. The ones who've been acting like hoes, you're going to be the ones with bigger problems. All right. Because the, scri the scriptures say that, why, that you're going to be ravished. Let me get that. You know, y'all be worrying about. Uh, I, I've been watching. I was watching this show on uh, Netflix called Sex Education. You know, it's a lot of bullshit in there about pansexualism and bisexualism and interracial relationships, all that bullshit. But nonetheless, the important lesson was, um, um, oh, not important lesson, but this one chick, this dude got on the bus and like they be having dudes on the bus and shit that like jack off and he, he basically like jacked off. He was jacking off next to her and came on her fucking pants and the bitch was devastated. She, she couldn't no more after that. She couldn't she everywhere she goes, she would see him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, she couldn't, her boyfriend couldn't touch her no more. All that kind of shit, man. You know, and, and she just she just couldn't take it. And so something as simple as that. How much the morning in time of Jacob's trouble y'all be complaining about? Look, and I'm not trying to take away from any woman that's been raped. You know, from any woman that's had harm, physical harm done to her. Yeah, I, I know that might not be something mentally that's easy to take upon yourself. But you're not helping your cause by running naked through the streets. You're not all you're saying is we we got rights. We can do whatever we want. That's all that March is saying. We we like to be hoes. We want you to see us naked. 
A real woman is not going to sit up here and want everybody to see her naked. She know that that's it's called private parts for a reason. OK. This is Isaiah 13 and 16. It says their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. All right. And that's what's going to happen to a lot of all you women running around here doing all this shit. And you, you're you're not coming back to the law, statutes, commandments of the Lord. And you love your children more than anything. The Lord's going. He said your children are going to be dashed to pieces, man. OK, it says their houses shall be spoiled. So that comfortable house that you got going to get fucked up by Esau. It says and their wives ravished. OK. And that's going to happen to all the earth, man. You, you, you Israelites and you uh, heathen. OK, your wives are going to be ravished. Ravished means to be raped. OK. So you, you, you people don't understand what's coming, man. All right. Hey, man, I ain't about to keep dwelling on this. You damn women, man. You ain't going to get it together. No way. We can't talk to the majority of your asses anyway. So, hey, with that, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying for some of you women who took heed. All right. I want to give all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rakhah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David, the elect. Until next time. Shalom.